Hey y'all, this is a continuation over the last video that I did where I was giving my thoughts about Marvel in DC. But anyway, aside from getting all that dumb hoopla out of the way, let me get to the real juicy my thoughts video. Alright, I had recently completed Psychonauts, you guys. Yes, it was long, it was hard, and it was just... Oh my god, it was brutal. Not quite as brutal as Brutal Legend. Haha, <laughs> bad pun. Anyway, getting to the main point. No, I'm telling you right now, Psychonauts and Brutal Legend, like I said in, in the Brutal Legends My Thoughts video, I don't know what Tim Schafer smokes or what drugs he does or whatever he does, but I want some because yet again, Double Fine has impressed me with a game that is, you can't even put it in words, you have to play this game. Psychonauts, the whole basic premise of the story is that you play a kid named Rasputin, or Raz. And apparently we find out that Raz was from the circus. And that he ran away, apparently, to join you know, the Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And, ugh, excuse me, a lot of weird stuff starts happening. People start losing their brains, and all they say is, TV. You eventually find out later on why that is. But people start losing brains left and right, and then eventually it's up to Raz to basically save the whole entire camp, let alone the whole entire world. It's just one big epic plot line after another. Now the key things about this game that make it great, but all that make it great is the fact that the the variety of psychic powers I felt in my own mind was very good. Huh, <laughs> get it? Psychic pun. But what made it really cool is that you get you get the basic psychic powers that you would see, you know, telekinesis, pyrokinesis. You can basically do what's called like a mind blast. And there were some interesting ones like confusion, you basically you have like a question mark and Raz pulls the actual like hook line off of it and throws the dot like it's a grenade. There's another ability called clairvoyance, which is basically I guess like which is pretty much remote viewing you basically see through another person's eyes as they view you in the world and some of them are pretty funny and what also really makes this game good is that is the worlds the worlds are big they're flushed out they're drawn out some of them are just really bizarre like you know case in point i mean for example one of the characters coach oleander you do what's called the basic braining course and when you go inside his head, it's like a militaristic war zone. Or when you go towards, say, you know, the great, great descended, you know, like nephew of Napoleon Bonaparte. Yes, I know, don't ask. I'm not going to get into it. But you go inside his head, and it's basically like a board game version of the Battle of Waterloo. And so a lot of these levels are really drawn out, well thought out, and some of them some of these levels you're just gonna stare at them and you're gonna be like what the hell like it's just like it's just you stay like another one is like is you meet a character named Edgar and his is like what they call the black you know black velvet topia which is one big like watercolor mural painting and it's really cool cuz it's done in like a in a in a Mexican, it's kind of like a Mexican water painting kind of deal. You're going through town trying to avoid getting charged by this bull. Just really a lot of very fun aspects to the game. And surprisingly, I'm not I'm not all that big of a fan of the platforming, you know, kind of games. But this was one like very easy to pick up platformer. Like. E even if you're not someone who's played, you know, say Banjo and Kazooie, this game is very easy to get into, and you'll be so sucked into the story that you'll lose track of time. Matter of fact, you won't even get sleep. You'll just be sitting there, you know, playing the game, doing side quests, and the next thing you know, you got like a 50-foot-long beard, and you're like 50 years old. I'm telling you, this game will drain your life. Well, not really, but you will be very addicted to the game after a while, and you won't, you'll almost like forget to like eat dinner or lunch or breakfast the game just sucks you in it's just 
it's the kind of game that it just it sucks you in and you and it never lets you go and I'm not gonna explain this wallpaper for those of you who actually have played Psychonauts you'll get my obsession with that and why I love you know this particular I guess like character part but anyway as this video is winding down my final thoughts on it is exactly the same with Brutal Legend. Go pick it up. Don't even bother renting it. If you do rent it, I will literally hunt you down. This game is just too good not to try to buy, but it's also very hard to find. If you can find a copy for like twenty dollars, twenty or thirty dollars, please pick it up. Do not let do not let this game go by. Because like I said, I will hunt you down and I will make you suffer. Anyway, guys, I'm Steve. Happy hunting.